Anglers Bills Court Florida Bass Power. In this video, we're going to do a quick overview of the track upgrades for the Old Town Predator PDL as well as the Old Town Big Water 132 PDL. Stay tuned. Five, four, three, two, one. It's no secret how track systems have really enabled us to rig our kayaks more easily without having to drill into the holes, which let's be honest, years ago before track systems, drilling into your hole was something that made you very nervous. And now pretty much all kayak manufacturers manufacture their boats to have track systems installed on or within their hole design. It really opens up a world of possibilities of us rigging our kayaks to how we wanna have them set up for our fishing adventures. Old Town is no exception to this, and while there's absolutely nothing wrong with the standard track systems that comes on their boats, one individual who happens to be a friend and teammate of mine took it to a whole nother level, increasing not only the strength of these track systems, but making them more versatile. My good friend and teammate Brad Torrey, who lives north of me, and I don't mean north as in Massachusetts, I'm talking about Canada, the great home of hockey decided that he wanted to upgrade the track systems on his Old Town boats. From what I understand, and believe me, I have no experience in this whatsoever, the type of fishing they do in Canada, such as a lot of their salmon fishing, requires some heavy duty gear, trolling gear, light outriggers, things of that nature, and the standard track systems on the Old Town boats weren't able to hold this heavier gear. So Brad at Pacific Yak Angler decided he wanted to make track systems that were thicker, as well as having more track space for you the angler. This could be used for a wide variety of ways to rig your kayak, have more track systems, more versatility, etc. All I want to do is a quick video showing you the OEM track compared to the Pacific Yak Angler upgrade to show you what the benefits are of these. Stay tuned. So we're going to go ahead and start in the rear of the kayak and what separates Pacific Yak Angler tracks to the OEM tracks are two key features. Number one, the OEM tracks are about half inch thick. Pacific Yak anglers are three quarters inch thick. But the real selling point, you have track going all the way, almost the full length of the track, compared to the OEM which stops here for about two and a half, maybe three inches here in the middle. It doesn't seem like much, but for example, I have a retractable stakeout pole holder that I'm not able to use in the rear tracks because this portion right here. Now I'm going to make the assumption, and I'm no engineer of course, that this was left open as far as not making the track all the way down for durability. And I completely understand that. The Pacific Yak Angler tracks, track goes all the way to the front and it's still unbelievably sturdy. Where I found this to be helpful with not only the retractable stakeout pole holder is my camera mounts because there's less flex because these are a quarter of an inch thicker it's just there's more of a stabilization of the camera boom sticks than you would get on your standard versions but as sexy as these are the real sexiness comes in the front tracks let's take a look so here are the front beefy tracks here um so much more room for mounting options as well as uh, keeping accessories here's a standard track here compared to the beefy track front tracks are about the same size you get another extra couple inches on the secondary track but what i really like are these cutouts here for tools these are great for your fish flippers i have uh, spro models here which are actually bigger than a, your typical fish flipper fits in beautifully pliers fits in beautifully. Also, if you're someone who likes to cut bait out on the kayak, you have a slot here for a knife. Several holes around here for tether points as well as hanging lures to dry, such as spinner baits and chatter baits, which I like to do. Just 
an aesthetically pleasing looking track. Uh, there's two recesses here for additional screws. From what I understand, there may be some accessories coming out down the road that'll hook up right here. So I'm excited to see that there. But um, three quarters inch thick, just a real, the name says it all, beefy. Hardware included with the purchase. So you have that longer screw to go through that three quarters inch thick material. So just a beautiful design, really heavy duty. Um, be used for a variety of techniques so definitely serves its purpose the tracks are cut out a little bit more on the underside so your t-bolts fit beautifully under there like that recessed area so they don't spin on you so definitely all the thought process went into this to ensure they're just as good if not better than the OEM tracks I hope you found this video to be highly informational. And again, these track systems are really not made just for Old Town boats. With some flat deck surface, you can add them onto your boat as well, regardless of the brand. Just keeping in mind, you want to make sure the track systems are set against your hull in a flat work area with the proper backing to ensure they function just as they're meant to. For more information, I invite you to check out Pacific Yak Anglers. I'm going to go ahead and put their link in the comments below and check out their track systems for a wide variety of Old Town boats and perhaps maybe even your boat. This is Bill Scott of Florida Bass Paddler. Again, I hope you enjoyed this quick episode. Thanks for watching. Tight lines, I'll see you on the water.